Hey guys, I'm Sumika. In today's photography tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can take pictures of products against a plain white background at home with zero budget. So let's get started. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon to get notified whenever I'm on YouTube. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm Sonika. Welcome to my channel which is all about photography, travel, vlogging, cameras. And I put out new photography tutorials every Wednesday for you guys. So if you want new photography tips and tricks from me every Wednesday, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon. And today I'm going to try some product photography and we are going to photograph them against a plain white background and here are my different products so let's get started things you will need some products obviously a plain white paper without any creases or folds if you have bent it by mistake you can always iron it so that the creases and folds can be removed uh, alternatively you can also use a plain white cloth cello tape scissors a camera, I'm gonna use my DSLR uh, Nikon D5300. Also, I'm gonna try my point and shoot camera Nikon Prefix V500 and my mobile phone. A tripod, if you don't have a tripod, you can use the support of any stool or table since you are at home. A light source, I have this table lamp and I have attached an LED bulb to it. You can use any kind of light or lamp that you may have at home. Just make sure that it gives out a white light, not yellow or orange colored light. That's why I'm using an LED bulb. A remote optional, but it makes my life very easy. And Photoshop. Now that's all that we need. So let's start clicking. First, I will tape my white paper to the table and on the wall. So that I get this seamless background. I take my product and keep it in the middle. Now I'm clicking small products because my paper size is small. If you have a bigger background, you can click bigger sized products. My camera is set on my tripod. Now settings, I'll go to aperture priority and set my aperture around f5 to f6.3. ISO will be 100. And now I'll take a note of my shutter speed. So I'll switch to the manual mode and set the same settings on my camera uh, matrix metering white balance can be auto exposure compensation zero I'm gonna set my camera on the remote mode I turn on my lamp and place it in such a way that I don't get a lot of shadow above the camera directly shining on the subject a little bit of shadow like so is fine. Shadow is a part of light so it will come in your images but we will try to avoid them as much as possible. Just when I think my background is nice and white, even if it is a little grey it's fine. My subject is well lit, that's enough with less shadows so I click. That's it, job done. You may use an external flash if you feel your subject is underexposed. But if you don't have it, you can still manage with one light. I keep clicking and trying products of different types and textures. If you feel you're getting a lot of highlights on your subject, move the light source a little away from the subject. And try different angles, experiment and later on you will get a hang of it. Now I'm gonna try my point and shoot camera Nikon Cool Pix V500. Let me also try my mobile phone camera. Now let's take our images into our computer and see how we can edit them. Now here is my image that I've clicked using this technique. As you can see the background is a little grey, it's not pure white and I have a few creases here and there too um, but I'll be able to remove them in Photoshop. Let me show you. Now this is another image I clicked the same way and here is another one 
I'll edit all three of them for you and show you how I edit them. You get a plain white background. And I also have this uh, ugly shadow here. Uh, if you want to remove it, you can. Or else you can keep it like so. There's no harm in it. If you want to remove the shadow altogether and add a new shadow, I'll show you that too. But first, let me edit this photo. I go to the camera raw filter. Enable lens correction. Remove chromatic abrasion. Now I play with the exposure a bit. Add contrast. Adjust the highlights by pressing down the Alt key. Now I'm not going to go all the way because then my image becomes a little dark and, and you start getting this noise in the background. So I'll just adjust it a little bit only. Shadows, the same for shadows, not too much, just a little bit. Whites and blacks. Similarly, by pressing down the Alt key, but not going too far. Clarity. Vibrance. And a little bit of saturation. Only a little bit because I don't want it to look, the color to look a little off. I don't need to bother with uh, noise reduction because I shot it at 100 ISO. The uh, rest of the settings are fine, I'll open it. Okay, now I'll crop my image. I'll maintain a 4x5 ratio because I want to edit this as per Instagram guidelines crop yes a little free transform control T to fill my frame with this subject I'll rotate it a bit maybe this looks a little off balance yes fill the frame with my product okay so now I'm gonna make this background nice and white I go to curves and pull this right point away to the left till I start getting white in my background and that's it I'm done see if I um, check the color of the background tada it is pure white now my image is ready to use and I can upload it wherever I want to. I'll also take you a little closer. Um, you can see it's nice and sharp too. Oh, I'm quite happy with this image. Now I'll edit the second photo. The same way, camera raw filter. First step, remove chromatic abrasion, enable lens correction. First I'm gonna increase the exposure a bit. Add contrast, reduce highlights, oh this does not have a lot of highlights, good, <laughs> increase shadows, just a little bit, adjust the whites and blacks, clarity, vibrance and saturation, that's it, I'm gonna open it, the rest are fine. Again, I will crop this image and fill the frame with my subject. Enter just a little bit bigger. Hmm. Again, if you'll check the background, this is grey, it's not white. So we'll make it white. Same way, I'm gonna go to curves and take this right point a little to the left till I get my white background but I see a little grey patches on this side so I'm gonna add a new layer take the brush tool 
make sure my brush color is white and just paint over those patches wherever i can see them i can see little gray noise like patches sometimes you get them that's it i'm done now the third product again i go to camera raw filter enable lens correction remove chromatic aberration increase exposure increase contrast reduce highlights i got some highlights here and shadows adjust the whites and blacks clarity vibrance and saturation same way that's it i will open my image again i'm going to crop it once again curves take it to the left till i start getting white another layer and paint over the gray areas if i can find any gray patch or any noise and that's it i'm done see everywhere we have white now if you want to remove any shadow in your product and maybe add a sleeker shadow to it there's a technique zoom in i go to the pen tool make sure path is selected here and not shape okay and i very carefully will cut out the product now since my product is has a good shape i'll be able to draw it this will take time and uh, involve a lot of detail just stretch it and press down alt to bring the point back to where you drew it for curved lines hold the mouse pointer and always press alt and drag this handle back into the point so you will get a nice shape or else uh, you may get confused very carefully i will draw it out this may take some time obviously and make sure you cut it out well uh, i don't like to use the lasso or the magic wand here because this is a product i cannot uh, cut it in a haphazard way that i may lose out any of the details or the shape of the product so i prefer using the pen tool for products to get a correct cut of my product to want to mess it up anyway you go around press control c and you'll be able to go back coming back to the starting point my shape has been drawn now i go to the paths panel right click make selection zero okay control j to create a new layer i'll add a new layer of white color and i can keep my image like so or else if you want to add a sleeker shadow behind create a new layer uh, go to the brush tool uh, make sure the brush hardness is uh, zero and the brush size is big paint it once click on the page just once to get this nice round now press control t to free transform the shape into a nice shadow Yes. I'll place it behind my product like so. Reduce the opacity. And here I have my sleek shadow ready. So that's this is how you can take pictures of products at home with a plain white background and it's so simple. Uh, no extra cost, no fancy equipment, just one light and a simple table lamp. 
you don't need expensive lashes, soft boxes or beauty dishes. And if you found this video to be useful, give me a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below about which uh, photography tutorials you wanna watch next on my channel. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also turn on the bell icon to be notified whenever I post new videos. Here is my previous product photography tutorial. Please go check it out guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more such videos every Wednesday on my channel. Bye.